Hey, good up time morning, Dr. Michael Nelson, your YouTube eye doctor, and today I'm here in sunny San Diego, California. I'm here at the American Academy of Optometry, learning lots about lots of good eye stuff. But today you're going to learn all about cannabis and how it affects your eyes. And so we're going to learn about the different ways that cannabis affects your eyes and your vision, and we're going to settle the argument once and for all: should you be using cannabis to treat your glaucoma? And we are starting right now. All right, so in case you don't know, there's a lot of different cannabis types of plants. So there are some that are non-toxic and used for their fiber-like properties, and those are typically going to be used, what you see in hemp plants. But then there's other groups that are a little bit more toxic, and they have some of the drug effects that you are more familiar with. So there are over 400 chemical agents that are associated with cannabis, but there are two that are, have been isolated to show the most effects on our body. So number one is THC or Delta THC. So this is the most common one, and it's the one that's associated with this psychological kind of drug effects that of people getting high. And the second one is CBDs or CBD oil. And this one ha doesn't have those psychological effects, but it's used for treating pain and its analgesic effects. And so for the most part, because THC has the most amount of visible effects on our body, that's the one I'm gonna be referring to today. So generally speaking, THC is gonna cause some short-term psychological or cognitive effects on our body. So these are going to include things like memory loss, loss of sense of time, a shortened attention span. It's got a 10 second memory. You know, a reduced problem solving ability and a reduced ability for you to have a reaction time. And for many, THC is going to have a mild euphoric or relaxation effect, but for others it can have an effect causing anxiety, paranoia, psychosis, or even kind of panic attacks in higher doses. So most of the effects are thought to be reversible, but there are some long-term effects that studies have shown that chronic use of THC can cause permanent changes to both the synapses in the brain and the volume of your brain. All right, so let's talk about the first symptom of it causing your eyes to be red. So THC will cause a decrease in our blood pressure, and it does that by dilating our blood vessels or making our blood vessels bigger. And so it will have that effect on all the blood vessels on our body, but the most visible blood vessels on our body are the ones around your eye, on the conjunctiva, on the white part of your eye, and when those blood vessels start to dilate, then that will cause your eyes to look red. So next, let's talk about how THC might affect your eye muscle movement. So there's two main groups of eye muscles in our eyes. So there's the muscles that move our eyes around, but then there's also the muscles that adjust our focusing or change our focusing. So for moving your eyes around, THC doesn't seem to have an effect on our ability to look from one object to another quickly, or it doesn't seem to have an effect on us to being able to slowly pursue or follow a target. However, it does have an effect on our ability to converge or cross our eyes, and it reduces that ability. Now, as far as your focusing, and that's your autofocus system, inside our eye there's muscles that control our autofocusing, and THC definitely has an effect of reducing or slowing the efficiency of your ability to focus or autofocus on things. Okay, so how does THC affect your pupils? So the jury is out on this one. So there are studies that show that your pupils sometimes get a little bit larger, and there's some studies that show your pupils sometimes get a little bit smaller if you're using THC. However, and one thing that it does show is that in about 80% of people that are on THC, there will be a rebound pupil effect. So if you shine a bright light on your pupil, your pupil should constrict, and it should stay constricted as long as you keep that light shone on your eye. However, on those that have been using cannabis, that when you shine a bright light on the eye, the pupil will constrict, and if you hold that light on the eye, that pupil will slowly start to dilate over about 10 seconds, and that's called a rebound pupil effect, and that's definitely been shown to be a sign of cannabis use. All right, so how does THC or cannabis affect your vision? So we know that it doesn't affect your ability to see stationary targets, like looking at a visual acuity chart, like reading the letters on the chart. So if you go in for an eye exam, you're gonna be able to read as small of letters as you normally would be able to do. But it does affect your ability to see the details of a moving target. So it's gonna affect things like your ability to drive and see moving cars and actually be moving in a vehicle. So it does affect your dynamic visual acuity. All right, so does THC or cannabis affect your sensitivity to light? And it definitely does. So individuals using THC will seem to have a reduced glare recovery. So that means if you're exposed to a really bright light and then it's taken away, they will have trouble recovering or having the change from their light and dark adaptation from that effect. 
It also can affect your contrast sensitivity, so, and specifically your contrast sensitivity in your mid-range of that function. So there is an interesting study that they did asking individuals how they perceived that cannabis or THC affected them. And specifically they asked questions about their vision. So they asked when you're using THC, do you perceive that this is affecting your vision? And almost all of the respondents reported that absolutely THC made them feel that it was affecting their vision, making their vision worse, making them feel that they were having a hard time seeing, and definitely they reported that they felt it was harder to drive and harder to see while driving while they were using THC. All right, as we move back in the eye, let's talk about the retina. Does THC or cannabis affect the retina? And definitely it does. So what studies have shown is that the use, and particularly in long time users of cannabis, there's a slow transmission of the signal on the neurons of the retina to the brain. And so it was a significant reduction in the processing time of the visual image as it goes to the brain. And so that effect was shown in long time cannabis users, and we're not sure if that might be a permanent effect. All right, so before we get to the final step of whether you should be using cannabis to treat your glaucoma, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below if you wanna hear more videos like this. All right, and for the question you're all wondering, can you and should you be using cannabis or THC to treat your glaucoma? So first of all, let's Let's talk about what glaucoma is and how it affects your vision. So glaucoma is an eye disease of the optic nerve and basically the optic nerve will slowly and progressively die or the nerve fibers in there are dying or being damaged and we feel that that can be sometimes related to our eye pressure and so when we're treating glaucoma the only thing that we know how to do is lower the eye pressure and so lowering that eye pressure sometimes takes the pressure off that optic nerve to reduce that progression. But remember glaucoma is not eye pressure being high, it's a disease of the optic nerve. So let's talk about how cannabis affects the structures around glaucoma. So we definitely know that THC will absolutely reduce the pressure in your eye, and it reduces it about by 20%, and that's a good amount, and that's about equivalent to some of the good drops that we have on the market. So we absolutely know that it will reduce the pressure. But it also has another effect. We talked earlier about THC reducing our blood pressure. Now, how why that is important is because there's something in glaucoma called the perfusion pressure. This is how much blood flow is being supplied to the optic nerve to allow it to be healthy. And if your blood pressure decreases, that reduces your perfusion pressure, which is a bad thing in glaucoma, and it can cause further damage to the optic nerve. So you have two effects. You have the lowering of the pressure, but you also have a reduction in the perfusion pressure. So let's talk about the pros and the cons for using THC for treating your glaucoma. So number one, the pro, does it lower your pressure? Absolutely does, and it lowers it in the range that other eye drops does. So that's effective. Now the cons. One of the big cons of THC is that it doesn't last that long. It only lasts about three to four hours. And in glaucoma, you need a continuous and consistent lowering of the pressure. So that means you're gonna be, have to be using THC probably six, eight times a day, all day, every day. And that's gonna have a couple of problems. Number one, you're gonna have those psychological effects associated with THC all the time. Number two, think of how much that's gonna cost you in treating your glaucoma. So those are both prohibitive effects of using THC to treat your glaucoma. Now, if we talk about CBDs, CBDs do not seem to lower the eye pressure. And in some cases, CBDs seem to increase your eye pressure. So this is only referring to THC. All right, and the other big con of using THC to treat your glaucoma is that it can actually cause damage to the optic nerve. Because it lowers the perfusion pressure to the optic nerve, that can reduce the ability for the blood supply to the optic nerve, and that can further progress or cause your glaucoma to progress faster than it would otherwise. So the Academy of Ophthalmology and the Canadian Association of Ophthalmologists, the Academy of Optometry in Canada, and the Canadian Association of Optometrists in Canada all agree THC or cannabis should not be used for treating your glaucoma. All right, hopefully we educated you a little bit about how cannabis can affect your eyes and vision. And with that, have a great optometry.